Now with 100% more ducks! Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here with a mod spotlight for refined storage. Specifically, talking about crafting with the refined storage mod. And for that, we don't need this controller. <clears throat> nope. Instead, let's take a look at what we've got already. We've got here the basic setup that I showed off in the getting started um, spotlight. We've got the controller here with the solderer. We've got the disk drive with some storage disks in it. And we've got the grid. This is the crafting grid. So we can take a look in here and see what we need. That's a lot of good stuff in there, which is great. But we want to make stuff this time and to make stuff we're gonna go ahead and use the crafter so let's go ahead and drop that right there and this top piece always kind of appears wherever you're pointing against so if I were to put it here you can see how it's pointing at me and if I do it over here it's point so it's kinda of like the piston on how it's placed uh, for right now it doesn't matter its placement so I'm just gonna put it up there and if we take a look it's got slots for recipes which is mighty nice and I'm gonna go ahead and add some some speed upgrades because yay speed upgrades every place where you can put speed upgrades I say put speed upgrades why not and we can put recipes in there but how do we define what recipes to put in well for that we need the pattern grid so here we go this accesses all the stuff and junk that we've got in the network but it has a place here where we can specify the three by three or two by two crafting that we need and it needs some patterns so let's put those patterns in right there and some of the recipes that we need like for example this mod uses a lot of this quartz enriched iron and so here's the the simple recipe for that let's make a pattern and we can take that and now we can drop that in here into our crafter and if you hold down the the sneak key the, the shift key for me you see what the pattern is so at this point I can toggle this so that it, let's say it, it just displays the craftable items at this point I can come in here and say please make me 10 of these quartz enriched irons we got the stuff it's gonna craft it go boom done <laughs> that fast but it made 12 that's because the the pattern uses three iron and the quartz to give us four of the quartz and rich iron and so the closest it could come to is making 12 it can't make 10 it's not gonna give you eight because that's less than you wanted so it made 12 and that's just fine so anything that is some recipe that you want to make can go in here uh, say you want to make a, a furnace well you put your eight cobblestone there that makes your furnace boom you're done uh, some of the other stuff that's in the mod we can make this machine casing you'll you make that a whole bunch of times uh, other things uh, we'll get to in a little bit because we don't have the rest of the components at this point so ignore that we don't have that uh, so at this point that's really flexible for making whatever recipes that you can make in a regular crafter but what about automating a machine like this solderer by now you've made all sorts of bits and stuff out of this and it takes a bunch of work because you keep putting the stuff in place and waiting for it and then putting the stuff in place and it's it's so much nicer to go ahead and automate that so for that we're gonna move that out of this way and we're gonna go ahead and put the processing pattern encoder in its place and it really doesn't matter where these things go I'm just making a nice little tight structure here so this is for making patterns for stuff that requires a machine as opposed to a crafting bench so this is the the arrangement you say what you want to make what it's going to make which means you have to make at least one of them and again it uses patterns so let's go ahead and set this up so that we can run the solderer and I'm gonna go ahead and put the solderer right there let's put the importer underneath it oh, it's not going to that because that's not one of these devices well quick change I'm gonna put the solder over here and the importer right there because that does connect 
and then I want to put a crafter on top of this but I need it to be pointing down this is pointing up I want this to point down so it can feed the items into it going down so junk block junk block break that put that down and now you can see the difference this is pointing down and this is pointing up and you can see the difference from here so that's what we're looking for in kitty cat go leave so uh, at this point I can now teach this recipes that will go into the solderer so let's grab some bits let's see we're gonna be processing iron we're gonna be processing silicon we're gonna be processing gold we're gonna be processing diamonds uh, we're gonna need some redstone for a little bit later and so at this point let's go ahead and start teaching this pattern the processing pattern encoder I keep wanting to say pattern processing encoder but that's not right alrighty so let's come into here and if I give it one silicon then it's going to make something else let's give these speed upgrades because yay and kitty cat get off my desk she just keeps wanting to jump up here and say feed me I'm so hungry but it's not time yet no you have 10 minutes so I just ran that through let's grab the result here's the printed silicon and while we're waiting let's run one of you huh fun little glitch where it didn't look like it went away oh there that went away alrighty so we'll just run one of those three through real quick so that we can grab these pieces because that'll make this job much faster so this turns into that and let's get a pattern for it yay pattern now you can't just click to get rid of them or right click to get rid of them that just wants more of them uh, you can hit the clear button or you can shift click and get rid of them that way so we need a single piece of iron and that will process into the printed basic processor so let's grab that and this time we'll hit the clear button so let's grab a not that much gold so you can click it down or right click it up let's go down one more one gold into the uh, the improved processor recipe and clear and then let's take one diamond and nope let's get the the advanced processor and let's put that there cool so let's put these recipes in place so now I can come here and say you know make me 10 why not go ahead and make me 10 and we take a look it's already fed it the stuff that it needs and off it goes print 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 which is really nice so uh, there is another thing that we can do clear now that we've got these these pieces we can take the basic and the silicon and a piece of redstone if I left click aha if you left click it puts the whole stack in if you right click it just gives you one so there you go and that recipe there will make something for us we don't have one of those yet so let's go ahead and do that right now Doink. and I can tell right now I'm gonna need a bunch more silicon at least three more so that went ahead and made there's a basic there it is the basic processor cool let's go ahead and one two more of those one of you and where's the printed silicons I did there you go and let's put I just know two of you in there this will make the improved and this will make the advanced alrighty so now let's grab these there's the diamond one there's the gold one and I keep calling them iron gold and diamond that's rather than basic improved and advanced but I, I will get there eventually so that will make this piece and we need the recipe for that cool there's that one unfortunately at this point I don't have that gold piece here anymore do I I don't do I have make one thank you and I'm gonna need one of you all right so for the the gold there's that that makes the improved get that one there and then 
clear those out and we can make this one with the diamond piece alrighty and then let's get that pattern so at this point let's put in these three pieces so we can tell it to do the printed silicon we can do the iron gold and diamond to make the processors and then we can combine them to make the 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 full processors instead of just the printed piece so let's take a look at the stuff we've got we've got a bunch of stuff for the the diamonds but let's get all this stuff back into the system and let's say we want to make a bunch of of these iron printed ones now if we take a look at this uh no 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 i don't want to make that i want to make this full piece here if i shift control click that it gives me the crafting and let's make 20 of these so we've got plenty of iron plenty of this we've got 19 of these to make but we've got one on hand we need to make all of these plenty so the issue is it's got to print these things first before it makes the other now if it's smart it will do what it needs first before it makes the final piece let's take a quick look and it's smart it's making the iron pieces when this is done it's gonna be making the silicon pressed pieces actually it may make the the three the triple pieces because it's got something to make a final piece and then it'll print the the silicon it needs and then it'll make the final 19. here's the triple because it had one of those printed silicon and now it's printing up the rest of this the silicon and when that's done it's got 19 of the the iron processors it's got plenty of redstone it's got the 19 printed silicons and it'll make the the remaining 19 of the uh, the, the 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 these these basic processors and here they go 19 19 19 and ta-da that is really slick it means you don't have to go through and ask for the various bits anymore you can do it right away and here we've got a basic processor let's take one of you i need one of you and i need one of you because if we go back here to our the the programming uh grid not the programming grid, the, the pattern grid if we take a basic processor and a nether quartz that gets us the destruction core and you've already made a bunch of those by the time you get to this point and if we swap out the glowstone that will make for us the construction core so let's grab those two pieces clear that out and let's go to this crafter because it doesn't re require a machine drop those in and now we have far more of these bits that we can craft and we are really ripping along doing a good job that's already done here so we're good to go with that uh, there's one other monitor we can put in place this is the crafting monitor let's drop that up here at the top so if we sit there and say you know i don't have any of these improved processors in hand we've got one of the we've got one of each but i want a bunch of these improved processors so i'm hitting Control shift and then clicking on it so give me 10 of you and start and shift Control shift click this give me 10 of you and start and if we take a look at this crafting monitor we can see what is in the queue of what needs to be done and here's where we can cancel all the stuff or we can cancel individual pieces so we'll let that go ahead and do its processing goodness which is great and it's smart enough to realize it needed 20 of these silicon so it's doing all of them right away this is smart i love it but what if we want something that's not the refined storage mod if we want uh, something that that pertains outside of it uh, like for example hey an alloy smelter let's go ahead and integrate that into the crafting so i'm going to slap him up here let's put an importer underneath so that should yank it automatically out there i don't think i need to configure it we'll find out really quick uh, we need the the crafter to go on top so junk block junk block no nope, wrong thing i want this crafter so junk block junk block on top and then we're going to nope let's get down right there we go so it's pointing into it 
and this will need some actual power. So I'm going to go ahead and put some power there. And do I have an octatic capacitor? I do not. I will soon have an octatic capacitor. Octatic. Give me an octatic. There you are. All right, so let's go ahead and plop you into there. So now we can start teaching it to make some of the, the funky alloys that you can make with this. Glass, anything you want there. So for this, we're going to need that and one of you and one of you. And let's go to this place because it, it's a machine that's doing this. And I don't think it really matters which order you put this in. Let's uh, send you in to be processed and this should go ahead and give me the energetic alloy right there let me grab an ender pearl because I'll need that in a sec and so that makes the energetic alloy give me that pattern and we'll wipe that out because energetic alloy plus an ender pearl will give us something else that will give us the vibrant so you're processing along That'll be down here. And so that gives us that vibrant. Give me the pattern. Let's put that in there. Bleak. And so now I can sit there and say, you know, I would really like, um, you know, give me 20 of these. And it's going to be smart enough to make the energetic before it tries to make the vibrant. So let's go ahead and start that off. And it should start feeding in the bits we need. Very nice. And that's just going to process along. The question is, since I just dropped that in place, is it smart enough to realize, hey, it just, counted, it just counted this. Will it make 21 total or 20 total? I don't know. Either way, I would be happy with it. But we can see the, the one pop in, and then it's uh, heading off. I'm guessing it's being stored in here someplace. And if we take a look at these, we got stuff processing through here. And the advanced processor is almost done. What are you doing? Hmm. I'm not sure. We got 10 there. We've got the 10 plus the other extra one there. No, I think we're good. I do not know where that thing is uh, is sticking around, so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. Haha. -ha. Alright, so but it's pretty pretty slick for getting all this in place all you need to to remember is that these devices whatever it, it happens to be whether it's a mechanism smelter or an energetic infuser or, or whatever you're using it, it could be a vanilla furnace this will import or input whatever it's doing according to its face so you know if you have something sitting on top of this it will come up into it and then the uh, the importer, because that's we're pulling it out, that will come from wherever it's it's exporting out the item. In this case, the Ender I/O items are smart enough to realize, hey, it's being pulled out, and out it goes. I think, yep, here we go. It's just processing along. So this is really slick. This gives a whole bunch of capabilities of building a lot of stuff that we need the things that we need to just watch out for anything that is just a regular crafting recipe you can do in a standalone crafter and once you fill up all nine of these these patterns stick another crafter in there and fill it up and stick another in and just keep filling it up uh, these ones that are being used by a specific machine you need to make the the patterns inside the the processing pattern encoder which means you've got to make the thing at least once first because it's got to have that item there and then you can put those into the crafter that corresponds to the machine and you're good you're good to go it looks like everything is running along very very smoothly and there's crafting there is crafting for you with with the refined storage mod I like it. I like it a lot. Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here with this little mod spotlight of crafting with refined storage. Uh, take a look at the description down below where I deal with the getting starting as well as remote uh, refined storage manipulation. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.